Hey friends, it's Mike here at Guitar Tricks. In this video, I'd like to show you an alternate picking exercise that will work great for developing this skill and also getting used to playing a scale on one string. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help out. Now, back to the lesson. For this example, I'm gonna use the B minor scale. So I've got the open B string, and what I wanna do is pick that open B string in 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. All right, so every beat is one, two, three, four. Each one of those has four subdivisions. One E and a, for example. That works nicely for down, up, down, up, picking. Right? One E and a, two E and a. So this exercise, what I'm gonna do is figure out what the notes are on one string for B minor. So that's gonna be the open string is the root. And then it's gonna go the second and third fret. Then the fifth and seventh fret. Eighth and tenth. And then the octave at the twelfth fret. So what I'm gonna do is start with the first beat of down, up, down, up, just with the open string. Then on the second beat, I'm gonna hit the next note in the scale, which is at the second fret, and I'm just gonna hold it for the down stroke and then go back to the open string for the rest of the picks, which is the up, down, up. Okay, same thing on the third fret and then all the rest of the frets. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to go really slow with this at first and really concentrate not only on getting the right notes, but just getting a nice smooth picking attack, nice smooth notes, all at a nice steady timing. The beauty of this exercise is that you have a lot of time in between actual fretted notes, so you can use one finger if you'd like, or any finger that feels natural. You can come back down the scale. Okay, come up with a different sequence. Of course, you can use a major scale, a pentatonic scale, or any of the strings available to you. So this is a great way to improve your picking dexterity, maybe your picking speed, but also training your ear to the sound of different scales. Hope you found it helpful, and we'll see you on the next one. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Please leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out guitartricks.com for more in-depth, step-by-step lessons.